Welcome to day 4,731 of building this mega Hogwarts project. And it truly is mega. You might be thinking, hey, this thing looks done already. But that's only because you haven't seen the back. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a... There's a lot unfinished here. In fact, this clock tower requires a lot of details before it's going to be done. And the first thing we'll focus on is this ledge right here. I'm Plato, and this is Plato's Republic. <laughs> Yesterday, we spent a lot of time getting andesite, and today we're going to turn some of that into stairs. Good night. The stairs are what we are going to use for those ledges, and we're going to do the ledges right about this height right here. I might change this, but for now, I think it looks right. I'm also going to grab a little bit of stone for scaffolding. Now that I'm laying this out, I got extremely lucky. I didn't actually measure this, but there's supposed to be nine sections here, and it turned out to be exactly nine. Wow, I couldn't get more lucky. <laughs> Scaffold ourselves around here, and then it's a pretty simple process. Just boom, 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 boom. That looks pretty great, and now we're just gonna mirror it to the other side. Let me get rid of the scaffolding, and boom. You know, it's funny. I was actually dreading doing this little ledge, and this might have been the easiest part of what I've had to do on this tower so far. <laughs> Life is really like that sometimes. You put so much energy into worrying about something, and then it turns out to be super easy. Next thing to do is to build up this andesite wall. Luckily, we gathered plenty of andesite yesterday. And just like that, we're getting really close to finishing up this wall. Of course, we're going to need to throw in some other blocks here as well, but this side's going to be straight up flat all the way to the top. I want to replicate this little gradient right here. So the next thing we're going to throw in is a little bit of regular stone. And we're going to take this stone all the way right up to the top. This is a lot more plain stone than I would have done near the bottom. But the reason I want the bottom looking so dark is because the idea was that it kind of had a mud swept look to it. Kind of like wind over the years has blown a lot of mud up near the bottom. And then of course the top is a lot cleaner because there's nothing that would really get it dirty up here. Once we add the details into it, I'm sure it's going to look very nice. I'm amazed by what we've accomplished in this world, but when you spend 4,000 plus days in a world, I guess you can do some pretty amazing things, right? Ah, what a beautiful sunset. Yeah, we're not even close to done. Especially since we still gotta build up the mountain. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, there's some important characteristics we can't forget. We're gonna make a nice A shape here, and then a giant clock tower arch that goes all the way up and all the way back down. But it's raining, of course, man. I really don't like rain. <laughs> But it's a thunderstorm, so I guess we can sleep it off. Let's go. <laughs> it looks to me like the roof to stick out right about here. When we compare this to the photos, that looks just about right to me. Now, is this centered? I don't know. I, I honestly just won it. So <laughs> this is the shape we're going for. I'd say that looks just about right. Perfect. Believe it or not, my center guess was perfectly correct. Something's a little off here. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, that looks fantastic. This clock tower is going to look so cool once I've got the details in here. I already know. One of the things to start that detail, though, is that we need to cut out the giant arch. So assuming this would be the center, let's go ahead and chop it out. Could I have just built this properly the first time? Uh, yeah. See, I don't really think ahead like that, so <laughs> there's the floor. I guess this is going to be about seven wide. Actually, make that nine. Go back to work. And just like that, we have the arch cut out. Now, uh... That's actually not a correct placement of the arch. I need to actually lower that down to about here. You can already tell that having that cut out correctly makes this look so much more detailed and beautiful. I'm gonna love this tower so much. It really looks nice. But now, let's go ahead and figure out the shape. I think we're almost there. In fact, that looks pretty good, I'd say. However, we should probably add in some stairs and some slabs. About as half circle as we're gonna get. I tried some stairs and slabs and it just didn't look right. And the height is about accurate as well, which I really like. One thing I noticed about this tower are these indentations. Looks like there's one, two, three, four different strips going up. And we can actually simulate that with walls in Minecraft. So I grabbed my stone cutter. We're going to go ahead and turn these mud bricks into walls first. This was giving me a bit of a hard time, but I think after taking a look at it for a few minutes, I'm going to count one, two, three as the three indentations, and then these two as the two on the outside. Something like this running all the way up. One thing to keep in mind with this is we don't have all of these blocks in walls, so we're going to have to go straight from mud brick to stone brick to andesite. Now, I do believe I'm actually out of mud bricks. Oh, looks like we have a few left. Perfect. That is, however, something we're going to need to refill soon. Speaking of, we actually need wheat for that, and we might as well replant our wheat while we're at it. This has become quite a chore with how much mud bricks we've been using. Woo! Oh my goodness. First thing, let's go ahead and get these pillars built up a little bit higher. Great, now we'll add in more walls. Next will be stone brick walls, and those will go right on top of the other ones. And then lastly, the andesite layer. I already love how it's turning out. 
Oh, we almost made it. <laughs> That's so unsatisfying. <laughs> All right. And that is the outside details to these doors. And I think that actually looks really nice. You can see a really nice level of indented detail if you zoom in closely there. The only thing is, I don't know how we're going to make that look good up top. So I've got to figure out how to do that arch. If you look carefully, are also indented on this arch, which is kind of hard to replicate in Minecraft. But I shall do my best. <laughs> that being said, that is a tomorrow's project. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Click that video on the screen there if you want to see the next video. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. I play on a server with them. It's always a good time. I appreciate you guys. Peace.